YouTube, uh, I'm going to do a Washburn wing specific video, just with the wing series, because I've got a few of them now. This is my fourth. This is Nancy, which is a 1981 Eagle, and it's uh, it's quite luxurious. Let's be honest here, it's a stunner, or she's a stunner. Um, yeah, so this is a, will be a five piece neck through, just like the Falcon is. Apart from it's been painted over the top. Um, yep, so uh, this, uh, look at the fret markings, it's got this sort of washburn wings on it, ebony boards, binding, abalone everywhere, carved top, power sustain pickups. Harmonic lock bridge, dual coil taps for each one. Um, these ones have been replaced with different push pull pots and they've been wired the way you would expect. It needs to be wired, you know, you pull it out to make a single coil and you push it in to make it unbucker, whereas the original way they were wired up was the other way around, so you pulled it out to make it unbucker. So I'm just going to play this, I'm going to do a proper video of Wings <laughs> Kind of like the Falcon, the Falcon as well. I've not put the strings I like on it yet. These are the ones that are of it because obviously I did. You'll see that this was, um, was an advert. This is a sort of signature guitar for Nancy Wilson out of Heart. There's a picture of her playing this uh, particular guitar, well, this model. There's also one you can see that uh, is the same as this part from ABBA on the fretboard. Um, apparently it was gifted. And I was like, I thought, wow, Bjorn played it, but uh, apparently it was gifted to ABBA on their 1981 uh, Japanese tour. I don't know if you ever used it, but it's in an ABBA museum somewhere. So, um, but to be fair, the Ibanez artists, musicians, he plays oh, this killer colour as well, so I'll play some. <laughs> expensive than the Falcon and I just didn't really think there was there's not really that much difference um, between them and then again I'm going to do that video with the wing series I'll do that later on this afternoon this is just for this guitar this is a bridge humbucker a coil splitter Okay, 
It's the first time I've actually plugged this in clean at all. And uh, I'm beginning to rethink my position on tone woods and whether it makes a difference or not because it just seems to be quite consistent. Like this is very, you know, as I said, I've noticed the same with the west tones. They're kind of the same. Well, this is the same, it's very, but, you know, the same sort of quality. And they really are a step above pretty much anything I've come across are these two. Um, the build quality is absolutely ridiculous. I actually bought this uh, Nancy here off Carl, who's the guy that sold me the Falcon. Um, actually, uh, sorry, he's, he's put a video on YouTube of this from a couple of years ago. When um, if you look, it's, I think it's actually linked in my original video, uh, one of the other Washburn Eagle videos. Him playing this one, and this one is hanging on the wall behind him. And also, I got a Tokai. Strat off him, which is in the back of his video as well. So all three of his guitars are now up here in my possession. But there's something about the white that's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Uh, I bought, uh, I've been going through recently buying a lot of um, cheap sort of broken guitars or ones that just really need set up, you know, off Gumtree. You know, the sort of guitar that's maybe worth 80, 100 quid working, but if if it's got, you know, a bridge missing or it needs to set up or, you know, the electrics don't work, it's going to cost you 50, 60 quid to get it fixed in the shop. So the guitar's kind of only worth 20 or 30 quid. So I've been buying ones like that and I bought a guitar called an Axle. I don't think, I don't know, it was, it was a Les Paul. I think I had, I had the model number. Um, and it was just basically a silver Les Paul, a silver or white Les Paul like this. And it was a re really nice guitar for what it was. Obviously not in the league of just, you know, the, the pro Jap stuff, but 
something to do with the white just I don't know, just appeals to me. Um, I don't have very many white guitars, but it's like um, the see the the spangliness of the the abalone around the outside. Mm. The only thing wrong with this one is it's had a it's had a neck repair at some point and it's a bit lumpy, and you can feel it. It's right at the back. You can feel it. I've got a, a, a neck repair on a flying V, but because of where it is, you never actually you don't feel it with your thumb. So it's just sat there. This one I'm gonna have to fill it. It's been glued, but um, it's not been sanded smooth. Yeah, it's pretty ugly looking. But I think I kind of got away with it because it's white, so I should be all right filling it in white. If it had been the, you know, you'd never be able to make it invisible when it's just all wood like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna kick, I'll just kick on some muscle, stick a loop in. So the rest of this video is just gonna be um, me arsing about with the Falcon, uh, with the Eagle. Look out for, I think I'll think about doing a video this afternoon, maybe even a bit with more about the sort of general Falcon Wing series. It's all off the one website, but sometimes it's nice to see them in person at the same time. So, rock on. said one of my videos, it's great for upper fret accents, mm, it really isn't, um, I'll be playing on this, it's 12, 15, totally fine, completely unrestricted, no heel, great, up to the 17th, and it's, um, it's tight there in my hands, but there's no heel, so you can still have your hand flat in the back. Unhindered up to the 17th, 18th, 19th, the 20th. But getting higher than that is, um, uh, uh, aye. You really have to, it really is a two finger job when you get up there. Technique actually, um, what I've done there is I've folded my pinky. Oh, I get this at an angle you can see it. It's not gonna happen. I've got my pinky there, which means it, it's not in the way, <laughs> so I can actually get 
Actually, I saw one of the uh, another video. A guy has got a falcon, and he's modified it himself, and he's put a cutaway in there so you can get right in. And it's just how could you cut it up? It's, these things look amazing. Um, Anderton's guys, but not the captain. There's two guys, a guy with an afro and a sort of boring guy, who try and say uh, try and sound like Angus Young for under a thousand pounds or under two thousand pounds, whatever it is, and they do things like that. And they were trying to do ACDC, and they had one of the things they were using for Malcolm Young's guitar was a Gretsch White Falcon, and it's kind of this is a White Eagle. It's quite. When I was looking, just looking at that. Obviously, this it was three and a half or four thousand pounds or something. Yes, it's in the Anderton's music shop. And they were looking at it going, oh, isn't it just stunning? And it's like, it kind of looked like this, but it didn't have this super fancy abalone painting on it. Um, so, I'd, damn high end, pretty fancy. I think this might be one of those ones you bring out and show people and go, have you seen something like this? Oh. <laughs> work. 